My first impression is I'm in love. My name's Swain Tuft. I rode uh, professionally on the road for 20 years. I started in 1999 and I stopped in 2019. Uh, I was really fortunate in, in my career to have great teams that I, that I rode with. Uh, so I count myself pretty lucky because that's what gave me that longevity, that, that ability to stay so long in the sport. Yeah, you know, I've ridden a lot of bikes in my career. Say, for example, on a professional team, right? The, the team's changing the, the bikes out that season and it's always like, oh, here we go. The mechanic tells you everything is the same and you're always like, ah, oh, yeah, but it's not. This bike, I hop on it and right away. It just feels lively, feels snappy. I've actually, in my career, never ridden a Thai bike. The feeling, the sensation, uh, like I said, it's just lively, it's, it's different. So steel kind of gives that feeling, that life back again from something like aluminum or, or carbon. But there's something that I can't quite put my finger on yet for, for the Thai stuff. in my younger years he wanted the lightest fastest whatever like you didn't care just give me that stuff and as I get older and start to look at things differently now I look at it like holistically right like this bike uh, on a trip where you might go for five or six days it's a part of you and it needs to perform in many different ways so I guess there's there's three things like lightweight like super durable but also simplicity I think so many bikes have gotten carried away with too many bells and whistles and things and I think that's what I love about gravel is that you can basically ride anything, anything goes and then in a lot of ways it's almost the more simple the better. I did a trip up to Kelly Servinsky's 2D Gravel Inn. I see Kelly's bike and I'm like, no, I didn't know. Lanyards was, was building bikes. That's awesome. So as soon as I saw that I got back from that trip and I Kelly put me in touch with with Blake and then before you know it we were down here having a chat and uh, This is this is the the product of that so more people need to understand that There's always going to be a price involved. Yeah, you can get a blowout frame carbon frame from Taiwan for very cheap but there's something special about this being made here. You see the guys working in the back. You, you know that like it takes time, it takes craftsmanship. They're not just banging out like thousands of frames a day. This is a process and it's worth that extra time and it's worth that extra money in my opinion.